trying to claim credit, <laughs> even though you, you didn't kick the ball. But uh, was a poorly taken shot. But um, I think it uh, it re-emphasizes the point that once the ball is struck on target, anything can happen. Certainly, an Olympics ahead against Hearts of Oak. And that's Edmund Sechi, who was uh, wrongly fouled, was trying to go, go around, but it was tackled there by Ishmaelai. It's another attack there. And that is Harim Suleimana. More and more young central defenders being tried over Heart of Oak these days. Well, the team is the team is a sprightly young team. It may well be a sort of team you see for um, next season. Yeah, definitely. An Olympics trying there, but uh, James Abana goal scorer, fought offside. Just done five minutes, and it's a goal to nil. Haas did a double over them in the league, and. Uh, Probably they're looking for some measure of revenge, but it's a pity that if they should win this Millennium Cup, they're going down to fir first division. Well, it'll, it'll all be uh, insignificant, really, won't it? Latte. A poor ball in. Hard to book. Ball fed through there. Good passing through and a good cross. And some good teamwork. And a shot! Good save! Well, Chris, you were just talking about good teamwork. That was fantastic build-up. Some sharp, sharp touches and some lovely movement off the ball. And look how it ends up. A snapshot, forcing a great save. That's great play by Arts of Oak. And that was Alex at Japan doing his best to stop that. It's a corner kick. Douglas and Krummer to take it. Well, that's a vicious in-swinger for Olympics. Get the ball away. Well, headed once again. Olympics. Oh, that's good play. But he fails to pass the ball and Hearts of Oak regain possession. And again, Olympics. Probably looking for a break. Though nowhere as comical as what we saw that ended up in the goal and Bote. It's very well to keep possession. And Emmanuel Clote was trying to get past, won the uh, Gold King Award. How many years ago is this? About three or four years ago, with 13 goals, including a hat trick in a 3 5 loss by Olympics to Kodoko. Meanwhile, Hearts of Oak. Well, is he going to go on this run? Stephen Ayer. And it's a penalty. Wellington has given a penalty to the referee. Now, let's well, it, it, we'll see it again. He looks as if he's going absolutely nowhere. Comes up to Sechi, who makes a last ditch effort, and uh, well, oh. it, 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 it was Sechi, I think. It was Sechi. It's come off his hand. Not sure that was a penalty, though. But nevertheless, well, it looks like Hearts get the chance to level it. And all this happening in the first eight minutes. Are we going to be entertained the way we were between Hearts and Hearts of Lions? <laughs> I, I don't know, I, 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 but I don't think anything, any game like that will ever happen again in the near future. Well, I think we are going to get entertained because that was that's over the bar. And who took that one? Ishmael Ayi. I am lost for words. Well, I can tell. Let me give you a few words. They should have called me, and I would have converted. it. Uh, there you go, picking <laughs> yourself up. Look at this. The technique is poor, he's leaned back into the penalty. Here we see it once again. As he goes to take it, he leans back, lifts the ball up. He's not giving it any real direction and just put it over the bar. And nine minutes in, Olympics still leading by that solitary goal by James Aban. Plenty of time in this game yet, so might see quite a few bit more. And Olympics, well, that was Ronald Bote trying to and you need some space for himself. It's going to be a corner kick. Maybe we might still get some good entertainment value, but not in terms of goals, really. Probably not. But uh, let's wait and see. You never can tell. I mean, the first goal, I don't think we could have predicted that. No, definitely not.
because of course hearts of oak were overwhelming favorites going into this game but uh, i guess you can never really tell oh, that's a poor corner well he's had a poor season old Borty. i don't know why he's taking the corners now he's wasted every single corner during the league and free kick opportunity so i don't know why he's been left to take the corners well, that was poor but olympics have possession and olympics just trying their best to orchestrate some sort of attack but hearts of oak fighting back very hard it's a throw into hearts i would want to redeem himself angelo abanga into it and it's going to be a free kick well to hearts of oak that's interesting i thought it would have gone the other way watch it forward but a bit, bit of a push and now the decision goes for olympics and uh Referee Wellington still looking sprightly, even though he's retired from active referee. Well, he's, uh, I think he must have a motor there or somewhere helping him to, to move himself around. I asked him earlier, are you going to be able to make it? He said, of course, of course. I said, OK. Just give me a shout if you have any problems. I'll come and help you out. Well, we're definitely going to find out. A good header there. And Kofi Abanga, well, he seems to be the main orchestrator in midfield, but... Uh, Brought down on that occasion in Zamaba. And this was a tackle there on Abanga. So it's a kick in the back of his calf. And that can be painful. Ai. Alaja Alasa. In Zamaba, can he keep the ball in play? Oh, this is in Kruma. So it's a good cross in. A bit of confusion there. Olympics get the ball away, but only momentarily. And that shot going off target. Stephen Aye, some of the fans watching this particular game, which has just hit 12 minutes. And for Olympics, this is their third relegation in six years. Don't know whether it's time for a total overhaul of the club. Right, right from the top to the bottom. Yeah, I think you're right, Chris. I think it's the only thing that's been consistent with the relegation woes is the top. Well, speaking of which, and that clearance, Karim Suleimana, rather uncertain clearance, is a corner kick for Olympics. Well, I don't think he took the right option. It was easier to kick the ball out for a throw in, and he's opted for a corner. I'm not sure what he was thinking of there. We just have to wait and see. I have his Joshua Puku waiting in goal for Hearts of Oak. He was in goal for Hearts in that 5 6 game. He was just been headed out. And that's a tackle by Bote that took the ball out. Seems to be complaining a little bit. Zamaba. Feeds the ball into Nkrumah. Zamaba. Nanase. Zamaba. Nkrumah. And that's certainly going to be a decision advantage Hearts of Oak. Would it be accurate in saying a poor goalkeeping let Hearts of Oak down in terms of uh, trying to defend the title? I think that's a factor and um, you know, a couple of games comes to mind, the Kesben game comes to mind, the Wild Stars game what they played here comes to mind. The Liberty game. The Liberty game comes to mind. Those were three, three crucial games where three points were almost certainly destined for Hearts of Oak and, and they threw them all away. because.